What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the God Hoods Billionaire. Welcome to Hoods Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about Sue Surf arrested on a federal RICO. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so Sue Surf was apprehended after he said that he wasn't on the run, but obviously you were on the run and you probably knew that the indictment was coming. Your lawyer, I'm sure, let you know. Um, they found him at a home with a woman in there, said that he barricaded himself in the home, which just pretty much meant he didn't want to come out right away. He didn't surrender himself right away. It took about an hour for him to surrender himself while he was in there with a woman. You know what I'm saying? And it's... Is you know, you that's just how shit go. Nigga probably just wanted to get everything right before he ran out the house. You feel what I'm saying? Probably got him one off. Ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers know what's going on. You know, niggas ain't just walking out right away. You feel what I'm saying? You got to think about that. If the feds came and rushed your house right now and told you to come out with your hands up and you knew you had did some dirty shit... Chances are you ain't just finna walk right out because it's like, damn, bro, as soon as I get in these motherfucking cuffs, these people, I probably might not be coming home for a little minute. It's probably going to be some years. So, you know what I'm saying? Getting everything together in your mind, and that's understandable. Now, they got him on racketeering charges, said that he allegedly shot at a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Threatening to kill some niggas. Say he got them on threads on Instagram where they talk about distributing uh large quantities of marijuana um they got another guy on a shooting where somebody ended up paralyzed a murder i think it's a murder involved so they wasn't playing with him this is a fed case so the feds coming for y'all you know that's what it is now um sue surf is a rolling 60s crip member um he self-proclaimed rolling 60s crip member um and you know, this is kind of what come with that type of life. As I just stated on, on previous videos, man, you are the energy that you keep around y'all. And when and niggas be like, Sue Surf said that, you know, he'll never leave his neighborhood and he'll never leave the niggas, you know, that he started with. That's just not smart. I just wish y'all would stop saying that and wish y'all would start stop spewing that rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? And I understand if that feels real to him and what he need to do as a man. Hey, I got to keep my niggas close. I respect that. I mean, there's nothing I really can say about that. But what I will say is if this niggas around you that's moving on crash dummy type of time, that's moving on thug shit type of time, street nigga type of time, you know what I'm saying, niggas, and you're the legitimate breadwinner, then you need to distance yourself from these people at all costs. You have to. It just come with elevation. And if you want to bring them with you, provide jobs for them. Like I said in, a, in, in previous videos, man, start a trucking company. Send all your homeboys to trucking school. Buy some trucks. And nigga, as soon as y'all get out of trucking school, y'all niggas come work with me, nigga. And you immediately coming out to... You know what I'm saying? 50, 60, 70 K job. Nigga, stack your cheese. All y'all stack your cheese up for about two years. Go half on a, I go half on a truck with all three of y'all. Now all three of y'all on y'all own trucks and can start y'all own fleet. Now we all bossed up. You see what I'm saying? That's how you do that shit. I just opened a restaurant. Nigga, get your bartending license, nigga. Come on. Come on in this motherfucker. You know it's going to be lit if my name and face on this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying, nigga? Come get your money every night. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I don't need no crash dummy gang affiliation, sh like, shit, negative shit that's going to bring me down. I don't care what nobody say. If you hang around negative people, they will eventually be your downfall. They're going to pull you in their shit. It's just how it goes. It's, it's not even like... Y'all make it more than what it is. It's like that's just universal law. This is just the laws of energy. If there's more negative energy around you than positive energy, then there's a it's inevitable that the negative energy will pull you down and drag you in it in some type of way. Er, I'm going to use Irv Gotti as a prime example. Irv Gotti ain't never did no type of gang thug shit in his entire life. This is documented. All of these niggas say Irv was just a really good producer at Murder, Inc. None of that shit had nothing to do with no gangster shit. He's never done no gangster shit in his entire life, him or his brother. And that nigga got caught up in a goddamn Fed case 
for fucking with Supreme. Fucking with Kenneth Supreme McGriff. That's what happened. You know why? Because he had more negative energy. That was just such a big ball of negative energy that you got sucked down in that shit with you. You can't have these type of niggas around you if they not trying to do the right thing. That's just how this shit go, bro. So why y'all niggas make this shit something more than what it is? That's just how it go. You feel what I'm saying? You can't have negative people around you if you're trying to ascend to the top. You have to let that shit go. You feel what I'm saying? So it just it just is what it is, man. You feel what I'm saying? Ah. I- I really, I really couldn't even tell you. You know what I'm saying? Guys make their own decisions. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's the guy who is billionaire. Big favor. Big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. It's the guy who is billionaire. Big favor. Big abundance. I'm gone.